Oh, shit. Wait a second. Is that dude's ass out? In the city of Philadelphia, we climb grease poles any opportunity we can get. But that isn't the reason this event was created. It's been going on for 49 years now. Minus a couple for insurance reasons. Guys put their bodies through hell to scale 30 feet of steel-covered pig fat for cash and gobble ghoul. But the most important thing are bragging rights around the neighborhood. I'm hearing you're the champ. Yeah. I'm hearing you're the, you're, what? Yeah, I'm old champ. There's new champ running around here. The yeah, yeah, what, what happened? Did you retire? I had to. Yeah, yeah, now I pass it on to my son and they're going to try it. And when you, when you had your kid, were you like, you know, Kobe has his kid, MJ had his kid, like one day they're going to be professional basketball players. When you had him, were you like, you're going to be a professional folk climber one day? I made a special call to Ken Griffey Sr. and asked him how to act on this. And okay. he said, stay cool, Frank, stay cool. So I just followed in Junior's footsteps. But the reality is, it is a tradition. I lived right up the street, neighborhood people. A lot of people know him from birth. It's just a fun thing to have. How'd you instill in him how to climb a pole? He wouldn't stop climbing the railings in the house after hearing it. Then the awnings around here that you see, yeah, they're all... You have to be a little messed up in the head to climb the pole. You have to be mental in the head just to live in this city. Navy is hurting. Navy blue is hurting. Navy blue might not have it. Navy blue might not have it. That is a look of anguish on his face. Quick post-game interview. I just saw you get up. The back looks like it's not feeling good. Oh, totally fucked. I have a fractured L5 anyways, but listen, for the grease pole, you do anything you can. I love it. I love it. Will you be back? Fucking right. And here we go. And it's not starting off strong, but hey, they regrouped. Here comes the Viking. Here comes the protege. The chosen one, some would say. The crowd is cheering them on, and that might be the L4, L3 for Navy Blue. He is walking around in a state of delirium. By the end of this, you might have to be getting in your own interview. I can't. Only hope, why not? I gotta be a base. All right, but number two is the base. You're actually carrying another light guy and then the last guy. I'm not a good climber. You don't have to climb. You just have to go check it and then just hold the pole. Am I and on the bottom? You're on number two, but there's not, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You're probably only carrying 350. Bro, you see these toothpicks? <laughs> We're missing a guy your size, which is what we were short like the last time. I'm telling you. Listen, you might come to that point. You might have to be getting in your own interview. I'm just letting you know. I feel like I'm being shook down right now. This is like this is like old school South Philly. <laughs> It's time. You're good. I did sign up. Did you? I did sign up. What are you gonna do with me? I mean, you're number two. I told you that. You think I'm the missing link? Yeah, yeah, big time. <laughs> Bro, you are giving me way too much. He, but like I said to him, is he a base or second? He's layer? a second level now. That's like, can you do a second layer is so scary. Oh yeah. Dude. That's what I don't want.
officially retired from pole climbing. I was kindly asked to leave the team. Uh, second level's not for me, base isn't for me, climber's not for me. 12 feet in the air, I could never have done this. Look at this. This is what they wanted me to do. I was just, I'm dead. I'd be dead. I mean, look at this guy. This guy is a fucking hoss in the second level. Getting me off the team is what got you up there. Well, it, is. it is. Thank you for taking over for me. Oh, gotcha, I got you. Oh, no, I'm really tired. My ass came out there, and I didn't like that. Is it shaving? It's hairless. Yeah. No, no. Nice. nice. How do you want to celebrate? I want some of that meat. Walk us through what it felt like as he was climbing the top. It felt like three grown men standing on your back. And then he stepped on my head. I was like, what the fuck is this? But we need to get. We got a sausage off of there. And this time we need to get the cheese and then get the money to come down. So you're happy with the win, but you're not done yet. Oh, we're not done. We got to get everything. All right, that's what I hear. We got to get everything, right? All right. Is that the first time you ever had a, a grown men climb on your back for meat? Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. I want everybody to know. This is the first time and the last time. <laughs> and that's that from the Italian Street Festival. We saw the victors. We saw the spoils. And what's one thing we learned? Don't put me on your fucking team.